Hello everyone, I am Dr. D from Food Alchemy Network. Thank you for tuning in to Food Alchemy Network. We are gonna work on some tips and suggestions for healing fracture sprains and a bone healing after maybe knee surgery, maybe after um, foot surgery, back surgery, any part of the bone or your bone is going soft, we want to get it back and get it vibrant and functioning. So these are some suggestions. You know your body better than me. I'm just giving you suggestions of things that you can do. Um, lightly exercise, lightly. Um, anything if you're recovering after surgery when they say that you can go back and do lightly exercising and strengthening the bone back um, because when you've had surgery or a fracture uh, the bone is broken or fractured where the cells the blood supply that used to be is no longer there and has to repair itself so during this uh, time this is the best way, I would say, uh, for you to get some healing for your bones. Um, excuse me why I try to adjust my uh, camera. It is uh, slightly not working. <laughs> there we go. Uh, doesn't want to work. Now it is. Oh, it said no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Isn't it like, you know, there you go, yay, I'm, I'm happy. Okay, so I wanted to, you know, talk about the bones and how they help your muscles, your joints, hold your organs together, help you walk, help you move your hands, your elbows, reach, grab, do all kinds of things, exercise. So these are very important why you wanna keep the bones in optimum health. Chydro, um, chydroitin, glutamine is also good. MSM is also good for bones. Vitamin D3 are good for the bones, okay? Iron is good for the bones. Vitamin C is good for the bones. You might want to take a multivitamin. Also make sure this vitamin has zinc. Make sure this vitamin has copper. Make sure this vitamin has uh, the vitamin D3, calcium, as well as folic acid, which is very important as well. Make sure it has uh, no colors, no preservatives, uh, additives as much as possible. Try to get as much as to nature as you can. Cryjoitin, glutamine, same thing. And all of them are not equal, just like that, all MSMs. MSM are not equal. Read your ingredients and try to get the maximum out of them that you can. Now, also drinking a lot of water, purified water, spring water, water that is going to help your body. Um, forget the soda pop. Um, I think that's what they call it. Soda pop. Um, you can drink orange juice. You can drink grapefruit juice. You can drink pineapple juice. Pineapple juice has the bromamine in it, and that'll be good. Uh, some things and seasonings that you can add uh, be turmeric, which is good for inflammation, also is preventive of cancer, also will help the bones in assisting. When you're taking this turmeric, most people add black pepper. I use white pepper. Um, also, what you want to do is combine cayenne pepper and ginger powder together to take to help the body help the flow clean the blood these are good things for you to try also 
Uh, you might want to mix together chlorophyll, spirulina, aloe, together in water with lime juice and some mint or peppermint, spearmint, whatever mint you want, and a gallon of water. Add these different powders and shake them up and drink it throughout the day. It also hydrates the body, but also nourish the body, gives it calcium, and its chlorophyll is pho you know, photosensitive. So it's a plant-based product that you can use. Also, if you're not um, on a vegan or vegetarian diet, you can add collagen to the diet as well. Also, there is a bone broth you can also use. Bone broth is very good. It's made of the collagen and everything. Now, back in the day, they also gave Jello. Um, my Nona would pick J Jello, and our nails were good. And I and then she would got into not only Jello but Knox Jello. So for those people, gelatin is made out of collagen of the bones and most likely sometimes pork. So you want to make sure if you're not eating pork uh, to check the, the ingredients, what it's made from and the source. But the collagen you can get from the uh, beef, beef, uh, beef uh, broth, beef bone broth, also chicken bone broth. Um, chicken feet soup has a lot of, uh, that's a Jamaican, that's a Filipino dish, that's an Asian dish that you have the chicken and chicken feet that's in there and the collagen breaks down so it's good for you. Um, back to you are what you eat, so the bones structure in the marrow, healthy, would be wonderful for you. So other things, um, you want to also maybe do some light exercise like deep breath, a little bit of yoga, chair yoga, uh, um, tai chi if you can, a little bit of walking, not running or anything that is basically going to hurt your body. <coughs> Sorry, it is not gonna hurt your body. So you want to be uh, mindful of those different things for the body that actually can help heal it. So another thing is um, tea, comfrey root, burdock root um, are good teas with mint is another way to get in there. And comfrey root is knitting, is called bone knitter tea that helps the bone come back together and start knitting and start healing. So these are something that you can do and take it in, which is very good. It's also for clearing skin, helping the body detox, also good for rheumatoid arthritis, also good for osteoarthritis. So anything of the bones, inflammation, joints, comfrey root is really good for. If it gives it that good supply. Also, you might want to take kelp. You also want to take uh, cell, cell salts. Uh, that helps the body repairs itself as well. If you know what cell salts are, um, you get them um, Irish moss, uh, bladder whack mixed together. You can put that. It comes in, um, from the ocean, both of them. They're, they're vegetarian and vegan friendly for people out there. And also, they're raw, vegan friendly as well out there that you can do. You take the, um, the Irish moss, you basically soak it. You rinse it off as much as you get in the sand as much as you can. Then you soak it overnight and watch it. It blossoms and blooms and blooms and blooms and blooms. And what you can take with that is snippets of both of them and actually put them in a smoothie, put them in a drink, uh, something that you're going to drink and you're going to digest quickly. Smoothies are great, juices are great. Um, they're really good to have. So this is a suggestion uh, for you. Also some good uh, things uh, besides the vitamin would also be 
for you to uh, take some vegetables. Uh, also, B12 is a good vitamin for building the help in the bones as well. Um, so I would say I would get a multivitamin that is having some of these things. Um, there is on the market, quote unquote, a vegan collagen. I don't know anything about it, um, but I know collagen is good for the skin. It's good for, you know, keeping your pores, you're not having wrinkles, keeping that young skin. It's also good for supporting the bones. So that is something that you can actually look into, the vegan one. Um, you can look up vegan calcium. I just actually seen that the other day and I was like, what? Something felt like it bit me. <laughs> uh, so what else did I say? Oh, I was talking about the vegetables and, to, and the ginger and the garlic. Now, garlic is a natural pro-antibiotic. Uh, I was gonna say pro bad antibiotic for your body to heal, antifungal, antibacteria. It actually cleans the body out. So if you want to, you can smash some garlic and a little bit of castor oil and olive oil together and actually take it. Just a suggestion for you. Now let's get on with our list of, uh, of vegetables. What else? Um, Um, also, you want to do physical therapy. I didn't think about that. Uh, some people that are not uh, vegan, these are things for you. You can drink milk and yogurt and eggs. Um, salmon for the omega, omega fatty acids. That's another thing you're going to add as a vitamin. Omega fatty acids 3, 6, and 9. You can get them. If you're not uh, vegan, that helps with the bones. Uh, chai seeds, flax seeds, almond, chickpeas, black beans, soybeans, broccoli, spinach, kale, brown rice, quinoa, oats, rye, if rye, remember rye and sometimes oats are gluten, so check and see if it's a gluten-free product. Um, what else? I have one here and something else. I wrote a whole bunch. Yogurt, uh, whether it's made with almonds or regular. Um, cottage cheese. What else? Um, turnip greens, kale, broccoli. Um, Raisins, figs, prunes, uh, raisins, figs, prunes, uh, what else? Ruta Baker, um, rhubarb, mustard greens, I said kale, turnip greens, collard greens, uh, cantaloni beans. Um, soy milk, if you drink it, or soy products, if you can take it from tofu to tempeh, or that uh, new thing that our people are getting into, that tofu skin, soybean skin. Um, let's see. Tortillas, um, some, some corns, whole wheat bread, rye bread. Molasses, black strap molasses is good. Again, that is a good iron for you to actually have. Um, oranges, I would say, are very good. Uh, pineapple is very good. Um, limes are very good. Pomelo, which is another one that's an Asian uh, that, a grapefruit. It's an Asian grapefruit. Um, 
that has the same vitamins that's gonna help the body repair. These are some things that you might want to add to your diet. Um, glucosamine, hydroglucosamine, you wanna get the maximum that you can. You also want to make sure that you're getting your zinc. You also wanna make sure you get your magnesium. And you also wanna make sure you're getting uh, your riboflavin. You wanna make sure you're getting vitamin E. You wanna make sure you're getting vitamin A. Uh, these are things that are very good for the bone when they're healing that you need to have on a daily basis. Also, you wanna make sure you're drinking a lot of fluid, a lot of water versus soda pop. You can drink uh, coconut water, you can drink coconut milk, you can drink almond milk, you can drink rice milk, you can drink oat milk. Um, what else? Different cheeses that are made with these different uh, alternative uh, dairy, supposedly products, you can use and add them in. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Strawberries are good, blueberries are good for the body and the healing. So these are things that you wanna do. Also, you might want to, before you go to bed, make golden milk. If you don't know what golden milk is, look for the link and get my detox book and recipe. You will be able to get the book. It's only five US dollars. And as a PDF file that I can email you right away, as soon as you send the money, you can get it. It's good for you. Um, so, you want to be careful, relax, no stress, try, breathe, breathe, breathe. These are things that would help you go in the long run for a beautiful set of repairs to the bones. Um, Another thing, uh, or if you want to might put a uh, red clove, red clove is also good. Um, mullen is good. Dandelion is good. Burdock is good. These are herbs that helps the body, um, cleanse the body. Also, when you're not, you've been on a whole bunch of medications, so your, your body's also detoxing. So these are some good things that I hope that you can take and use, and they're helpful for you. So I want to say toodles for now. Bye. I am Dr. D from Food Alchemy Network. Stay tuned.